everyone. Welcome to the Collabcast. I'm editor Katie Cusack. This is David King. And we have the fabulous photographer Kiki Veslak <laughs> is here with us. What's up, guys? Welcome. Hey. It's been a long time coming. You should have just like been on this podcast the entire time. You're Honestly, like our day I have one. Been. Yeah. You guys just haven't seen me. <laughs> I'm, I'm in always, the shadows. I'm always with you. Is yeah. that a skill you've learned through being a photographer? Is that? Um, <laughs> yes, you have to Camouflage. actually be sort of hidden. Actually, have you guys ever seen the movie Toy with Robin Williams? No. Do you remember that movie? Mm-mm. No? I can't even talk about it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> LL Cool J is in it, and he plays this character who like literally comes out of walls because he's like super camouflaged. No? Mm-mm. Oh, my insane. God. It's a classic. <laughs> okay. Well, when we have our collab movie night, mm-hmm. yeah, it'll be... Should. Toy. Toy will be the first. That's crazy. It's super dark. I mean, I, oh. I was going to say if, you know, we were the Beatles... Me and Katie, you would be the third Beatle. <laughs> would I be the third but, Beatle? But there are four Beatles. So am I there technically the fifth? I was, I was gonna say okay. this. So yeah, like, but, but really, we're not the Beatles, and more uh-huh. like we're, we're just like two people, and you know. But then you have to think about Richard. Oh yeah. So Jesus. where does Richard so then fit? We're the Beatles. Yeah. So well, no, technically, you know I, I do really play like drums. Though, so. okay. <laughs> am I Ringo though? Like, no, you're not. You you're not Ringo. Oh, okay. No, you're better than Ringo. You're better than Ringo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I had a moment there for a second. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Why, so why are you here? What? I'm here because um, I hate everything you guys stand for, and I am just here to clean up your ass <laughs> and make sure we get this ball rolling right. No. Um, I'm here to talk about you guys, actually, today. So tell me. Some stories about your lives. How's your day been so far? Well, yesterday I went to visit a friend of yours. Okay. At her coffee shop. Oh. Yeah, and I saw your... Uh, Choo-choo K-Train. Your, yeah. not, not quite face, but your... Isn't that dope? She made yeah. all those. Like, she just took our photos Gram's and she... Gram's Coffee. Yeah, she yep. drew the Gram's Coffee Parlor in Niskayuna. Mm-hmm. Um, best coffee shop, in my opinion. It's it was dope good. inside. It was it was good. Right? I got I mean I just got a nice coffee, but it was it was really good. And it's good. Yeah. It's it's in suburban hell, but it like oh. it, it offers a sanctuary <laughs> from all of that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Poor Nisky, you know. I know. But it's in a solid spot though. Yeah. There oh, aren't really any busy. coffee shops in that area. Yep. Yeah. Plus really banging banana bread. I don't remember where she gets it from. Oh. But it's really good. There's a lot of really interesting stuff there. A lot of, oh, yeah. a lot of good food choices. And, I'm trying to get yeah. her to make um, Greek frappes because no one makes those. I don't know if you guys have ever had okay. them. But they're like, it's like a whipped instant coffee. They do mm-hmm. it in Greece. It's like, Ooh. you can get them at like the Greek fest in this area. I'm very Greek. I don't know if you know. I'm going to talk yeah. about hmm. yeah. Greek shit. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to get her to do that. And so she's like trying to figure out. It's not like, it's like a weird process, Dang. but they're so good. From what I hear, I'm not a coffee drinker, but everyone around me. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I wish I liked coffee. It would make today easier. Yeah. So what's in it for you? Why do you want her to make them if you're not going to drink them? Because it's Greek. Oh, okay. And I want yeah. everybody to do Greek <laughs> things. <laughs> All the time. Don't you know this? Um, yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm here. And last night, you had an interesting night because you and Katie did a, a little bit of a DJ set. Oh, yeah. We did the Franklin Alley uh, DJ takeover thing. Mm-hmm. It was super fun. Yeah. Um, it was a vibe is what I keep saying because yeah. it was. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's how else do you really explain it? I don't know. It was, it was a it good was time. Chill. Yeah, it was a chill. A lot of you know, just like yeah. lo-fi hip hop kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like our homies were there. Yeah. The drinks were pouring. Yes. The uh, tunes were grooving. I love Franklin Alley anyways. It's probably my favorite bar in Troy. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's like everything I like in a place. And now they have a karaoke room. Oh. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Goodbye. Seen, there's a couple karaoke rooms now in the in the in the area. Is, is this is this wait, is it just like a just like a lot like or no, is it it's like, like karaoke room? No, it's like yeah. I don't know if you've ever been to Tack House. I don't really know how to say Tack House yes. or Tack House. Yeah. But, um and they have like this one room kind of like in the mm-hmm. basement where if you're getting married there's one it's like the groom's room, like the bachelor pad. I'm pretty sure that's what they turned into the karaoke room. And first of all, that room is sick. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's super dope. I didn't go look in it last night, but you did, right? Uh, no? no, I didn't. Oh, they said that there James was somebody did. in there. Oh, yeah, James said. Um, they said that there was somebody in there. But I'm, like, really interested in booking it, though. Mm. Get a whole little crew mm. and just sing 
Yeah. I mean, there's songs. there's like a, a like a karaoke booth rental place now. Like In Troy, right? Japanese style. Oh. Like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Which I think would that? be a really fun experience. In I forget tr- now. In Troy. Is it Troy? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You just Troy's go rent out a video monitor and you, yeah, yeah. You bring your homies. I don't know. I look. However, Katie <laughs> told me last night she's never done karaoke. I've before. never done karaoke before. Little I've piece never, of my heart I, broke. I've never done karaoke before, but I've watched it. David, you've never done karaoke before. It's <laughs> fine. I think it is fine for everyone. Like it's everyone who could have. Well, well, allegedly, I read this somewhere. Karaoke mm-hmm. means terrible singer. Oh. So. Don't quote me on this. That I don't know if anybody like actually. That's what I'm thing. saying. I'm like, look it up for real. But allegedly, mm. that's what that means. So you're. I don't know. I don't Not know. Not everybody that sings karaoke is good. I don't I even know like what song I would pick. And also, isn't it like you kind of have to pick what they have? Yeah, I mean, they have like thousands of songs. Like those. Most of them connect to the internet now, so you can just bring up whatever you. Yeah, but then you have to pick one that's like instrumental. Yeah. And the instrumentals are wanna, hilarious because it's right, not actually, it's, yep. it's, like, it's like MIDI. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like old video game uh, music sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's hilarious. Yeah. But I got a couple, hey. couple songs that are my go-tos. <laughs> AO Technology by 50 Cent is my number one. Oh. Sometimes I like to do a little Bye 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 by That's NSYNC. That's a good one. Sometimes a little Britney, Drive Me Crazy. Yes. Drive you crazy? Drive me crazy. Yeah. I mean, my like daughter's movie, not good at it, but... Remember that movie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah. Adrian Grenier. Yep. I served him in an classic. Indian restaurant once. Seriously? Yeah, when I was Is away. his hair as beautiful as <laughs> I want it to be? He's a gorgeous man. <laughs> He was like, he was wearing his hair scarf, so luscious. And, he, and he actually had an entourage with him. Seriously? Like, yeah. Was it? No, it wasn't oh. like the, yeah, it was like very cool looking people. He has like a, I don't know if he's still doing this, but he was doing like these underground, like he turned like his basement into like a recording studio or something. Oh, really? And he was doing these like videos and like all these like kind of like indie bands were coming through and he was doing like little wow, recordings and stuff. Yeah. And he <laughs> is like a super big proponent of the music scene. I had no idea. Yeah. I knew he was like super into cleaning the ocean. <laughs> As we all should be. Yeah. Yes. But, you know. You know. Can't. Turtles. Yeah. yeah I've just been doing the fame monster with my daughter the last couple weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. And she, <laughs> she wants to, like, essentially I have to spin her and throw her while she dances to all, all of the fame monster. So that's sort of that's like karaoke. The parents' version of CrossFit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Throwing your kids around, <laughs> yep. spinning them, you know? Yeah. yeah. But dream. what song is your favorite to do? If you could do one. Yeah. Probably uh, Dinosaur by Kesha. That's a great song. That's solid, though. Yeah. yeah. I love a wedding. good song that spells things, you know? Yes. <laughs> ben- <laughs> the- <laughs> like, uh, what is it? Is it Glamorous by Fergie? Yeah. G L A. Yo, that album is so good. The Fergie one? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she, I, feel bad. I feel bad for her for the whole, like, uh, um, Star Spangled Banner. National anthem. Situation. Oh, I did not see. It. Mm. Apparently, it was really bad. It was but also, bad. like you knew what you were getting. Fergie's not like she's not a good. She's singer. not like an operatic singer. She was like scatting and stuff, and I'm just like, that's her <laughs> thing. Like, what did you want? She's not hitting those <laughs> extra high want? notes. You knew who you were getting. They did it on purpose. I'm convinced they were like, what did? What she can do we do? You get some watches. Yeah, I watched. I honestly thought if it wasn't the national anthem, it was pretty good. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> for what Wait, it was. What did she do it for? Some, I don't know, Baseball some sporting. Oh, you some know, kind sports. of sport game. I know. They're the ones that always do the national anthem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then hate on their players, so it's fine. Yeah. That's so funny. funny. Poor Fergie. Sports. Yeah. No, I really like that album. I feel like I've, it's been coming up a lot in conversations Has that it? I've been having lately. Like It's meant to be. Those songs, yeah. London Bridge is an insane song. Honestly, that is a pretty good song. It's, good song. it's a banger. That, okay, that's my. Yeah. That would be like my. I think yes. I'd do that one. Yeah. Oh my god. I yes. do. Okay. I do a Fergie song for karaoke. <laughs> Perfect. So we got Cash. Paramore. <laughs> yep. Which, that's which. Paramore, that's a lot though. though. Oh. I don't want to do that to myself. Because oh, it's just energy like, wise or vocal. Both. Wise. Yeah. People don't realize sometimes that Paramore songs are hard. Are hard to sing. She's a she's really, really good. talented. Yeah. yeah. She's, really, she's good. really good. Mm-hmm. I met her. During a meet and greet 
uh, years ago Love when that. I used to work at Albany Broadcasting. What color was her hair? It was orange nice. at the time. Okay, so yeah, way back. Yeah, way back. Mm-hmm. It was like at the Glensville Civic Center. Wow. I don't know. Do they still call it that? No, it's like the Cool Insuring Arena now. Oh, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But it was there. It was, it was them and shit. Who they play with? Who was she dating at the time? Not. Was she just separated from a Taking Back Sunday guy no, or was whatever? It, no, it was. Um, she was also know. like a punk band, pop punk. Yeah, she. They were married Not, and they broke up. Were they? Like in two. Recently. It starts with an F. I keep saying Fall Out Boy, but it's not them. Mm-mm. It's like that. I thought it was Taking Back Sunday or some Long Island. All oh, pom punk yeah. bands are from a Long it's Island. It's true. It's Eating true. Oh <laughs> you know what I mean. Combing yeah. their hair. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Fuck. That was really like what a time for like the pop punk oh. surge, you know? <laughs> with like it's the like really still deep... kind of around. Right, but, but like. like where? It's... I don't know. And I it's feel always. really, really bad because when I was in college, uh, I got a roommate. My my best friend left as my roommate to go to mm-hmm. a transferred. We were in this nice suite and then this tiny little kid showed up, blonde hair, spiked hair, Phoenix TX sticker. Oh, my God. Um, on his fridge. Uh, what was the other band? Uh, Yellow Card. And Yellow what Card. what was the other, the other one? And, uh, you know... I was all in black and goth, goth you can say industrial, it, <laughs> metal, whatever. This is a I was, safe space. I was steampunk a, before it was steampunk. Long, long black. No, not steampunk. Oh, sorry. Long black hair, goatee mm-hmm. down to here, and he's like, "Hey, Whoa. hey, do you like Blink One Eighty Two?" And I'm like, "I do not like Blink One Eighty Two. He transferred was, quick. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> he was left. like, oh. I, "I left." It was, yeah. It was, all right. All right. <laughs> David's like, "Don't get up." Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. You're cool here, man. I'm yeah. Gone. Oh my god! He violated my safe space. Honestly, it was with Whoa. that music or with his hair. Yeah, with his with, his, with his hair. Wait, were you the one with the goatee, or he was? I was. Fuck yes, David! You said it was like down here. Mm-hmm. And my hair was like down here. I, my daughter's seen the pictures, and she's like, "What happened to your hair?" And it's like, I'm well, just honey. saying, David. If you don't send me that shit, I won't believe you. I have, <laughs> I have to see it. I have pictures of my prom in high school of yes. my hair down here, red red streaks. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Tell me there was guy liner. No. Uh, this was this was before emo. It was goth, but not emo. Remember when they used to have goth night at um, Valentine's? I it mean, was like Kiwi Saturday was nights. A goth club. That oh yeah, was, I mean, true. Yeah, they it still have like, goth nights around. Do they? But yeah, Valentine's. Maybe what a fuse was, Who was it? it uh, mm-hmm. Who was the dude that did the Valentine's one? Oh, shit, I don't know. Yeah, there know. was like a very there was a goth collective. Yeah, it was like every Saturday at like eleven. Like, anytime you had a gig there, because it was the lower part of Old Valentine's, you had to be done by 10.30, because the goth kids would get pissed. Yep. If you even went, like, <laughs> and it, which, you know, fair, you have your goth night, so if anybody, and you know musicians are all assholes. You, I don't mean it in, like, a personal way. Sure, I mean sure. in, like, a... No, it's you just, heard it here. Yeah, you heard that's it here. You're the, all assholes. That's the poll yeah. quote I'm going to use yeah. for this. <laughs> all musicians are assholes. Are assholes. So I, I was a musician yeah. for a long time, so... So I you totally. spend all of your this, time with them. You, yeah. you just jump started my memory. I did go at Metroland. I went to cover that goth night. Shut up, And seriously? I brought Chris Shields, this photographer, uh-huh. and I went upstairs to talk to them. Mm-hmm. And then he, he runs up and he's like, they just, Albany just told my, towed my fucking car. And so it didn't happen because we had to go get his car back from Osborne's. Honestly, he could have waited. Where is it going to go? It's already towed. Mm. I don't know. He had to be places in the morning. That's the commitment. She's like, um, yeah, if I right. was you shooting there, for you. I would have shot that. To get and a goth left. Night. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I believe mean, it. I mean, you're already there. Yeah. <laughs> and like, imagine the portraits at a goth night. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Stick with it. You know yeah. what I mean? You're, you're in it for the life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like. That was like. The weirder, the better. My favorite shoots. At the all or with Kiki because <laughs> we would go to the weirdest places together oh, yeah. and we'd be staring at each other like, let's do this. <laughs> so what, is, what, is your, this. what is the weirdest thing that you've done for us? For you guys? The all or collab? Well, like when you guys all of it. With, with, it just a, melts It just together. melts. Um, the weirdest thing I ever did. I mean, you randomly shot Joe Biden. Which is like I know that was random. That was yeah. dope. Um, 
don't even remember came, that. Happened. Was that the day you came into the basement and we were all like, yeah, and it was really depressed. Oh my god, yes, because I was like, uh, I don't know if I need like a pass, and I had never been down there before, and I was like, you guys work now. <laughs> I was like, there's no windows. How do you breathe? I'm done. Um, and like, I like just I like opened the door mad slow because I wasn't even sure if you guys were in there. And you guys were just like around that table and you just all looked at me just like super slow. I could tell you guys were the about despair. to cry. Yeah. You know, we, we there was had, one. Um, we are t- always a tattoo all tear sick. appeared on all yeah, of us. Yeah, we were guys. always sick. We were always there's no ventilation. Yep. And one person would get sick and then all of us would be dying. There, we also got regular like crazies at the door who yeah. come oh. in and just like wild <laughs> shit. I can imagine just like who's at the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's just me true. being like, and Kiki's Can I like, get a pass? Sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> You're, all your head spun around yeah. literally twice for looking at me. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'm going to go. So I actually got booted out of the meet and greet thing for that because I didn't realize. I was like, oh, it's like the press thing. Like, yeah. do I go into like here? And I went like super far in. And then all of a sudden they were like, wait, you're not like on the list. I was like, I don't know, man. I was like, they told me it was yeah. a press thing. I'm like, I'm just, if you appear like you know what you're doing, yeah. people don't question you. Yeah, So true. I've been trying to figure out how to do that my whole life. <laughs> you know, I belong here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's you where do a pretty good job. But the weirdest thing, actually, I don't know if this is the weirdest weirdest thing, but maybe for me it was a little weird, was um, one of the first things I shot for you guys was that Power Bottom show at Skidmore. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, Skidmore punk house kids are so weird. Yeah. And like the show was really interesting and like rip Power yeah, Bottom, yeah. like all that that stuff that happened. Um, so soon after yeah. so soon. we put it out. It was yes. like, yeah. hit the brakes. And like, you know, from our, an, uh, an artist perspective, fuck those guys, because those are some bomb photos. Mm-hmm. I was really pumped about those, those photos. Really they were great photos. photos. Yeah. yeah, I was, and not trying to like do my home, but I was really pumped. I was like, damn, I was like, these turned out mad good. Yeah. And then that shit, and I was like, ugh. No, yeah. Power bottom. <laughs> ruin people's lives is what's happening yeah whatever happened to those wild. guys people I still think I, gone, I think right? I look, looked at one of their old Insta posts like the very last one and people still write like bullshit on oh, there oh for sure yeah like saying that they suck or like a little looking, bit of both yeah you know what I mean like some people are like allegedly Ugh. you know oh, and yeah. I'm just like oh guys like there's been mad people though yeah it's not like oh yeah. It's not like allegedly anymore. It's a thing yeah. now, you know. But, mm-hmm. um, but anything. One of the craziest things was that one day I was like, I will shoot all of the award people. Yo, yeah. I was like, I will do it all. I think I had just gotten back from Greece too. <gasps> yeah, you. Did. And I was like, I'm ready. And we were in production till three in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> that was wild. Yeah, it feels like a whole nother life. Honestly, yeah, it really does. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. It was so constant, and we were always on yep. all the time. Yep. Yeah. And then when everything stopped, I didn't realize how exhausted I was. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, <laughs> it must be so relieving to have it not be like a weekly. Yeah. Where it's like, especially because yeah. it really wasn't. It was. Mainly you two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, you yeah. know, consistently just grind, 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 yeah. grind, you know? Mm-hmm. It's rough yeah. being in media these days. Not that uh, I want to, like, want sympathy, but, yeah, you've got to do a lot with a little. As yeah. Turns out. yeah, and you know what? Like, no one's ever happy. True. It doesn't matter what you do. Oof. You could write the best piece about mm-hmm. something I amazing, miss but... the letters that we used to get. Mm. We don't get angry letters anymore. Really? But those were so fun. Oh my I'll God. start writing you guys angry letters Thank just you. to make your guys' life better. Yes, I yeah. loved like <laughs> opening the mail. That's so nice. I just like I feel like that takes so much time out of your day to write a letter like that. Oh yeah. Oh, people had to be yeah, really. This, really. You know what I'm saying? I, that's like boring to it's me. A lot. To yeah. like <laughs> write a letter. You know, I'm just like. God, I hated that article about the coffee kid. Well, like, you know, and it wasn't, fuck it, wasn't him. Just, it was like, you wrote about this, but you should write about yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, and there's it, a lot. Like, there's, well, I feel there's like we just still like, get that. Oh, we, we still get it, but not in like the... Look, like, listen, there's ways you can go about having somebody write about you. Sure. First of all, network. Be a human being. Go yeah. out and like do things. Yeah. You can't just expect somebody... To write about you when a you're not doing anything, yeah. and b you're harassing them. Yeah, it's like my fa- my favorite. I won't name names, 
But we had later, just David. we had just we had <laughs> just run later. a cover with with a a, a local mm-hmm. poet, right? And I get a a letter from a, a very well known local poet, old mm-hmm. guy, white guy, slamming us as a trash rag for not covering poetry. But what he meant was like the old His, white poets yeah, who are yeah. him, not old white poets are everywhere. But it was like the most. It was just, it was profanity yeah. laden. It was oh. like, you are like. Did wow. it rhyme though? Come on. No, 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 no. He didn't write you a poem. Sh- that's what he should have done, is wrote you guys yeah. a hate poem. To show how. Yes, yeah. to show his talent and skill, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just Or feel like, like that one band that recently tagged us on Facebook and was like, you guys may not have heard of this song yet or like not heard of us because, you know, the collaboratives ignoring us that we exist. Also, not And I'm nothing. like, love that. There's I love more that. things in the world than just the collaboratives. Yeah, true. but it's really, you know it's what just, I, mean? Like, I mean, but like if you set your sights on that, go about it in a better way, like sending us an email. Yeah. Or going to one of the events you guys put yeah. on. You guys put on mad events all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. Like but you're always doing the live show things. And I meet a like, lot of people there and it's like a very yes. good opportunity to like. It's the best opportunity. Yeah. It's just a really weird. But also it's like, um, I know Katie gets a lot of people who are like, put me on this. Why didn't you cover me? Yeah. Put me on yeah. it. And it's mm-hmm. like, because. Also, who are you? We, yeah, exactly. That's, well, that's, like, that's, exact, that's exactly you? it. You know but I mean? everyone expects to be like, known. And, yeah. and you can't just, you're not going to be known by shading people. No, right? at all. You're going to be known for shading people. Yep. And then people don't want to deal with that. Yeah. I'm telling you. And we're all just human. Yeah. Well. <laughs> some, some of us some are vampires. <laughs> this is true. Some of us are descendants of the Salvatore brothers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we gonna go full vampire diaries? Is I that... will talk about bullshit like that all day. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little. I'll jump. Um, I'll jump into it. I prefer Game of Thrones because I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Oh. Vampire, vampire diaries? diaries. Honestly, you're almost better off. We yeah. made a drinking game to it though. Yeah, we did. It was us two, and then um, Catherine, Catherine from Grams. Mm-hmm. We got like. <laughs> I have, the, I have the list. I got loaded. Let's just put, let's put her specifically. Uh, yeah, because I was, was like, I was like, drink. no longer with drink. us. <laughs> because Katrin brought over up uh, two bottles of red wine. She goes, "Do you think this is appropriate for Vampire Night?" I was like, "Yes, blood." I was like, "We are <laughs> drinking the blood of grapes. It's fine." Um, and uh, but there's so much trash in that show. Oh my god, that it's everything you can drink to. It's awful. Oh my god. We gotta do, you do it watch again, any like cheesy, even like sitcoms and stuff? Come on, you have to like watch not trash, for you. I hate sitcoms. You like like they, documentaries and stuff. Well, no, I mean I like, like dramas. I, like, I do like dramas, but I, I like, like dramedies. I, yeah, but no, yeah, I can't sit through. Like I've never seen Friends, and I've never watched uh, what's the other show? I've watched like an, an an episode of The Office. I like comedies, English version, but or not American network version? American. Oh. I mean, I've seen more English ones, but, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't like American television in that sense. Mm. Is this because you're goth, David? Probably. Yeah. I, goth I people appreciate, hate friends. I like to suffer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like to God, suffer in funny. an appropriate way, not, not the inappropriate <laughs> no. way. That makes me, like, yeah. He's just... <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying though, to think of a show that, that... That you like that's trash? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's... I mean, like... Oh my god! I could go mm. on and on you? about all the trash TV. I like. Yeah. I mean, I did sit through most of. Uh, you say that, Pretty Little Liars. Show? We're gonna no, be friends. No, no. Oh. True Blood. True Blood. That is trash. Yeah, it was a terrible show. Yeah, I only wanted to watch it for the lesbian vampires, but I couldn't mm. even get that far. Yeah. Yeah. Sucky. Oh, here's one. Yes. Sucky. 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 I would walk around being like, suck it. Suck it. Suck it. I'm like, I don't even know what's going on in this show. So I did just watch, I just binged the first two seasons of what you do what we do in the shadows. Oh my god. Um with uh what Jermaine. Yeah, but he's and, not in it. But he but yeah, he, he was in the movie. From, yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, produced yeah. it. Yeah. From and, Flight of the and Concord, Taco, yeah. with Kitty or, I don't know. Uh, but the last episode. Uh-huh has like guest appearances from all these bad vampires yes. and from TV's past, including, wow. including, um, David Boreanaz of, uh, Buffy fame. He might've been in it actually. Uh, but, but James first, first of all, what's her name from, uh, from that flick that we like? The no, vampire oh, movie. You're thinking, Twilight? Um, no, no, no. Um, only lovers left alive. Yeah. Only lovers left alive. What's her, what is that. her name? Oh, it's the best movie. Is it? Redheaded, skinny, 
Oh, I like me a redhead. Though. Lady. Starts with a T. Right? Yeah, what is her name? Yeah, why can't I think of her name yet? Tilda Swinton. Tilda Thank Swinton, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like the head vampire in this yeah. comic book. And yeah. she's, making, she's just she's joking about being a vampire. What's her name from um, Westworld and, and uh, True Blood? Ever <laughs> Rachel Wood. She shows up. Yeah, and with the wind in the back. Yeah, she's, she's, and she's showing up. I love it. And yeah. she's doing her thing from that. Yeah. From, like, and, yeah. and then uh, Wesley Snipes show up, shows up by Skype. Uh. Blade and like it's like class. this. Yeah, yeah. There are a few other vampires. Blade one yep. and two. Oh yep. yeah, they're making a third one, I think. Yeah, but not with him. It's uh, no, but it's Masha Ali who's awesome. From uh, not the same though. Hmm. I don't know. Did you ever see a? Uh, was it Actually, murder they at sixteen hundred? Actually, they made three blades. I'll, I'll, just so you know, they made three. Did they make three? Yeah, and it was one. Of the third was with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jessica Biel, and it was like they were his team. That's why I never saw it. It's like the third never-ending story. Yep. Do you know there was a third one? Jack Black is in it. Or the third Ninja Turtle. <laughs> what one was that? They go to like... They Japan? Go time travel to Japan. Yes, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> it was trash. I saw it in the theaters. There was I think, no Ninja Rap, so did I. And I'm like, I love oh, no Vanilla Ninja. Ice wasn't in it, <laughs> yeah. so... Go Ninja, go Ninja, go, go, go. I read go. Book It at Pizza Hut so I could get like... The Ninja Turtle soundtrack to their like touring show. Yes, and I went and saw them at Glens Falls Civic Center. Was it as good wow. as I wanted it to? Oh, it was fucking Two amazing. wonderful shows. Yeah. At Glens oh yeah. Falls Civic Center. I've seen some shows at Glens Falls. Hello, Civic we're Center. sponsored by. Glens I know. Let me tell you about the time I saw. I haven't seen a show. Marilyn yet. Manson. You haven't. Who couldn't stand up because he was so lit. I don't know if he was lit or on tranquilizers. Or just tired. I thought he was on tranquilizers. He was tired. It's hard He's being so goth. tired. He yeah. was not tired. It's so hard yeah. being it's goth. Hard being, it's hard being so sad and He's angry so all the time. Yeah. Um, my sister and my dad, my dad like really likes Marilyn Manson for some reason. I went through a phase where I was like really obsessed with watching his interviews that he mm-hmm. did. He's actually on, really yeah. smart, He's so well man. spoken. Yeah. I mean, I you know I went through a Marilyn Manson phase as a kid, but that show yeah. was the worst show like maybe I've ever seen. And then oh, I gave it a bad God, review. Isn't that disappointing? And his fans came after me, like seriously came after because they thought God. I was a born again Christian. Boring. And I'm like, no, no, really, he just put on a bad show, oh, and yeah. I reviewed it. But yeah, you're like, I'm a journalist. And I'm a just goth. trying to be. Ju- I'm yeah. a journalist. I'm a and a goth. journalist. <laughs> <laughs> so Please change damn. all of your social like <laughs> bios to goth, goth journalist. journalist. Yep. Hashtag goth Absolutely. journalist. Absolutely. Oh yes. my god, I'm here for that. Oh my god, yes. you, that's his nickname now. Yes, you are the Khaleesi just- of Troy, <laughs> and you are the goth journalist. <laughs> I will make this happen. Yeah. Slowly but surely. You sneak it in in the perfect times, and people are sort of like, "Oh, yeah, oh, sure." Yeah. I can it takes about it. two years for something to really stick. So, and I'm it's gonna patient. be a while. I'm very well, patient. Katie has control so. mostly of, of like the paper, so if she put it in the masthead, I could, you know. I could do. That. Oh my god, you could I'll written just, by. I'll start hiding little by Easter egg. Egg. <laughs> the goth <God. God>. journalist <laughs> king, <laughs> edited by David the goth journalist <laughs> king, <laughs> which like. Yeah. Is a dope name just because your last name is King. So like, oh, oh yeah, could yeah. even just be the Goth King. Well, okay. So there's a show I've been watching with my daughter called True and the Magic Kingdom, and it's like a cross between Pokemon and like Rainbow Bright. Man, I really wanted it. I just imagined it with DJ True. That yeah. would have been mm-hmm. sick. Like if he made a version of that. Well, I've never seen the show, but there is I'm this, here for there's one. There's this episode where they like find out that there's this gloomy guy, and he sings a song about how I like things being gloomy and blah blah blah. And I was just that's like, so that's, scary. It's like, it's like that, oh, it's, it's really creepy. Bring it's, it back, oh. karaoke. And, that's it. And, and uh, my my daughter's like, "That's you, daddy." I'm like, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> like I feel this Roasted. song. This is me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing better than like really creepy scenes in kids' TV shows. Where oh, it's like, yeah. like Adventure mm-hmm. Time is like when I first my little brother Adventure was time like actually for kids. It, no, I mean that's it, what I'm saying. Like when some my of these little brother was watching it, I was kids. like, I remember walking into the living room at some point and being like, "What is happening there's right a now?" Full episode like inspired by Nietzsche. Mm-hmm. Like it's that's very so true. There's that like I'm nihilist saying. like I mean insane <laughs> shit. It's like depressing <laughs> yeah. sometimes. It really gets me down. I want it's you know what they're just trying to like get all the kids interested. Because you know there's some Even kids the that are just like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, for me, if, like that was, if I was old, a kid, like, that would have been my show. That would have been my jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I man. Oh, man. I'll I watch it. Life. They're 11 minutes long. I'll, oh, that's I'll like watch. perfect for like... all the time. Like grown-ups, you know. too. Yeah. Like, I only have 11 minutes. Yeah. Just, what I can just, I watch? Yeah. Just gonna what? Button my shirt. 
No. Oh, is it a gotcha? He just yeah. wants to get a little more goth. Yes. Go. It's like about ending the world and stuff. I like that. Um, Perfect. I got it at Basilica's home. Somewhere there is heaven, and you shall find it. <laughs> it's fucking dark. <laughs> Wait, what's the top part say? What's the top part say? No Does it go? Oh, well, open your shirt. Open it. Oh, uh, the whole sky to black, the whole earth to hell. Nice. On brand. Yeah, that is. Totally yeah. on brand. <laughs> yeah. You got to start painting your nails again, though. I let my daughter do that. I don't, yes. I don't do it myself. Black? Whatever. Whatever. She, mostly pink. Mostly pink or purple. That's you goth. Know, she doesn't like black. She's like, Daddy, you wear too much black. Mm. My niece told me once that black is her favorite color. And it's I was good. Like, it goes with everything. Yeah. It's slimming. Black? No, not, not enough, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, colors. They're, They're nice. beautiful. There's yeah. a lot of them. There's a lot of them. They go together sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things is, I don't know if you guys ever go to the, like, the Pantone uh, Instagram or any of their socials. Right. We were talking about this yesterday with the... Was you that? and I were? Mm, I had one too many <laughs> black like soda doubles. So, you know. <laughs> no, the, <laughs> I was like, was that me? It could have been. Like, the film, they like do the screen, sh- the like shot of the film screen of different movies. Oh, and they I do, love that too. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, that's the amazing. color scheme. I love that. Yeah, the mood yeah. board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it's like officially called? Mood board? I would say so like, sort of. Okay. You know, like just yeah, kind of like that. a look. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I do mood cool. boarding a lot. If I'm doing like a shoot or something. Yeah. I'm like, so what do you want them to feel? Ooh. Sad? Really? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, like, if you're doing a shoot, people yes. are looking at these photos, like, right at the end. So you want to know, like, if I'm shooting, like, an artist, I'll be like, okay, so what do you want people to see or feel when they see this photo of you? Yeah. You know, so, and by artist, I mean, like, a musician mainly, because I primarily do stuff with music folks. Um, remember the assholes? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were getting um, professional. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I was like, professional. Wow, we're talking about photography. I know. Wow, that's what I do. <laughs> um, but I, but I do usually say, I'm like, hey, so what do you want? Like, do you want people to think you're sexy? Do you want people to think you're serious? Do you want people to think that you're funny? Like, do you want, you know, stuff like that? Because I think a lot of times, you know, people don't think about that and they forget that there's a purpose to these photos. It's not just like, hey, let's have a party, let's hang out, let's just take photos. It's like, it's promotional shit. You know, especially in this age of like. Social media, you guys mm-hmm. know. You guys always have to, like, put shit out. And as an artist, if you're not seen... Do- I was talking about this with Mir and Chuck of the C2C last night. I was like, people want to see everything that you're doing mm-hmm. at all times. They don't care. That's why, like, you know, Snapchat was so big. That's why, like, s- stories are so big. Because it's not overly curated, if that makes yeah. sense. It's more real. Yeah. You know? It was, it was funny because Katrin was saying, you know, she set up that photo booth. Oh, yeah. In, or, you know. Did whatever, you see last month? My niece helped make that. Aww. Yeah, the candy ones. It was so the good. The Halloween is really yeah. good. Uh, she just yeah. put it up the other day. I think day, there's yeah. like a like a sparkly dead unicorn or something like oh, that. Of course there is. But, uh, but yeah, so the, the, like, she's she the can, best. She, yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, I love her. Yeah, they yeah. can curate the coffees and she's like, I don't want yeah. people just paying to buy new foam for the, you know, for the pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. then she's also like, you know, I realized quickly that everyone wants me in the, in the promotional photos. They mm-hmm. don't give a, about the coffee and stuff. It's like, I have to be in. She's like, mm-hmm. not exactly comfortable with that, but that's what, yep. that's what people are looking for. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Yeah. It's a different paradigm for, Oh, yeah. Even, like, I've gone over there a couple times because she's, like, one of my best friends. Mm-hmm. So I've gone over I'm like, oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to take some photo of you guys making coffee or, like, whatever. And you can see she's like, Ugh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this. But, like, it's true. You know, I did um, a shoot for Circles Shop, like, uh, I don't know if it was, like, last year or maybe, like, last fall or something like that. So I guess last year would be yep. last fall. And it was um, Alex who, I don't know if she's, I can't remember if she's the manager, but she, like, runs the social media and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, we were going to hire like models to do it, but everybody that comes into the store looks for us. Yeah. So it ended up being like her and another lady that worked there, and we shot them in like all the clothes and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. that was really what people you know, found engaging about yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So interesting. That's, that's, Isn't it weird? That's our biggest yeah. issue is that this is what we have to work with. <sighs> Listen, that's, that's... If, if you wore more shirts like that every day... <laughs> Yeah. I do wear you should, do, you should That's what you should do. You should do David's shirt of the day. It should be a story. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's actually a good idea. Right? You know who would Y'all really piss off, though? 
my the, wife. The poet? No, oh, my wife. sir. Yeah, it's, she's like, you have enough black t-shirts. And I do, probably enough to mm-hmm. fill like three years worth of yeah. that content. Mm-hmm. But That's it would then fuel... Right it's it would then solid f- content, right? It would Gothic. fuel Hashtag more, Gothic. more <laughs> purchases. Yeah. The Goth yeah. King. Well, All right, yeah. you just branded Goth- me. Hashtag I'm the done. Goth King. Do I owe you for this? Is this like a consultation? I don't know. I'm terrible with invoicing. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, Jesus. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not um, a bad idea. Yeah. You're welcome. We've got to brand Thank ourselves you. somehow, you know? Yeah, the goth journalist and the Khaleesia Troy. Mm. <laughs> I think I lost my red scrunchie yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Did she tell you when I was in Greece, there was this <laughs> one waitress at this coffee shop that we went to all the time. I just kept saying, like, uh, to Katie, my wife, not this Katie. You could be so lucky. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, which is even weirder, though. Half the time when I'm like talking, Katie, my wife, the other day, she's like, she's like, you got to call Katie something else when you're around yeah. me. She's like, she's like, I keep getting confused. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, we didn't do that. You and I did yeah. this thing. Whatever. I was with Katie. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't with you, Katie. I was with the other Katie. Okay. I was with the Khaleesi. Um, <laughs> So there was this one girl, and I kept being like, oh, my God, tell me this isn't the Greek version of Katie Cusack. Like, and I, I got yeah. that photo, though, yeah. too. I was like, I got to be a creep and get this photo. Well, she was texting me, like, you, there, I have your doppelganger here. And I was like, picture, <laughs> yeah. picture I didn't have it. So yeah. then she sends you this, like, like picture of, like, through someone's arm. Like, she had clearly, like, <laughs> hidden the camera. Because, like, we were getting, becoming friends with the girl, too, because she also worked at the hotel. So like, could you not like, have just asked her? I don't know, man. It's like weird being like, hey, yeah. you look so much like my... And I don't really know how to yeah. explain doppelganger in Greek. Mm. Like, hey, you're a <laughs> doppelganger you to my friend. You could have just picture, yeah. right? And That's like, true, but it was also more fun. I was yeah. like a little drunk, too. We were drinking Greek yeah. beers all day. I asked Katie yeah. if uh, she thought we should stock a bar for this episode, but... <laughs> Not today. No. <laughs> Not today. I figured that this yeah. is... Maybe a juice bar <laughs> would have been perfect. An <laughs> IV. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I just need. Uh, I was I, so pumped I, I that they had Gatorade. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. but she had like her entire vibe and and down to the scrunchie. <laughs> I was, she was like, "Is that a?" I think you asked me. You're like, "Is that a scrunchie?" Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, bitch, it's your Greek doppelganger." Amazing. Yeah, like she hair must... like yours too. Like even like mm-hmm. ambiance. I felt like you guys had a similar style too. It was so funny. Yeah. It was she like was... the fourth day I saw her, and I'd I kept love being... to switch lives with her. That'd be yeah. <laughs> I want to that go island is a be on a Greek life. island. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sorry. I mean, not to like abandon you here with a Greek stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't speak any. <laughs> she tried though. You think she she knows InDesign? Is it probably doubtful? No. I don't even think they have like. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking about this is like a remote island in Greece where my family's InDesign. from. Like, like they barely have like phones there. Like I was surprised my phone actually that worked on that. Oh my god! I'll change places lovely. with her. Yeah, do it. You guys look very much alike too. <laughs> I'm sure. I'd be like perfect. Yeah. There's, there's a guy. Gotta grow your hair out again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what will you be having? There's definitely a <laughs> damn good freak. Oh, oh yeah, man. there is. I don't know where they Let's are though. Exchange. They'll never notice upstairs. Hmm? They'll never. Oh notice. here. Yeah. <laughs> that you're gone. We're switched out with two Greek people. You never. Jim yeah. said he doesn't look for you. It's true. Yeah. Be like, they don't um, expect I can't I'm in the. I'm in the wind. This says, I go where I'm needed, and I'm not needed here, all the time. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like only half the time, all the time, but only half the time. Yeah. 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 What's so, that? What's that? Ron Burgundy co- quote. It works all the time. Ninety percent of the time. Eight, all. Sixty percent of the time. All of the yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Behind oh, the man. scenes with I all know. the like Thank stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> what you guys don't know is we were Thank all talking man. about Game of Thrones earlier before mm. the yeah. things went on and she had some solid takes. Takes. Yeah. yeah well yeah. she has to do something to stay awake through. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Are you saying we're not engaging? Oh I, I, I think we're, we're, <laughs> we're very not engaging. David. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is this because I haven't slept? Is this what this is? <laughs> it took every ounce of my being to get up this morning. I, believe, I was like, yeah. You ever see like those movies or whatever where they attach a camera to the person in front and they're like moving? I felt like that this morning. I was like, get up, Kiki. It's time to go. Get your life together. You have places to be today. Oh my God. I'm just pumped I rescheduled a shoot after this too. That was like lovely. Because now maybe I'll take a nap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But I'm shooting tonight, so who knows? What are you shooting yes. tonight? Um, Jocelyn and Chris Arndt are performing at um, Putnam Place with, God, I can't remember the name of the band, but it's the bassist of Government Mule. I think he has like his own band type thing. I I don't know. I don't know what the music is like. So I'm pretty sure if it's Government Mule, I know what it's like. (laughs) But it's not, but it's not Government Mule. It's the uh, bassist of Government Mule. So I don't know if like he has like his own vibe or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, um, so I'm doing that. And actually, I love shooting at Putnam Place. They like just they had like redid it like last year or something like that. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. they have like solid new lights and the sound sounds great there. And um, it's easy to get cool shit there. Mm-hmm. So I'm pumped. I love as a photographer when a venue has like a vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it gives you like stuff to work with. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, you just went to, Katie just went to the Avalon in Catskill. Oh, yeah. Oh, how's that? It's that it so looks- cool. Really? Yeah, I love it a lot. It's like very like curious, like all the rooms are different and they oh, have sick. like local artists design like each of the bathrooms in different That's ways. That's sick. It's really cool. Did you go to the you Hilo to bathroom? I did Because their cafe has like this giant framed portrait of Freddie Mercury as like the queen. Oh, wow. Maybe, yeah. And it's amazing. It's like just worth going in there just to see the, the bathroom. They, mm. Where is this place again? It's Catskill. It's Catskill. Okay. It's like 45 minutes from here. Like in the, you mean like it's called Catskill or the town it's in the Catskill? The town. Oh, the town yeah. Is called Jesus. Oh, yeah. Like we're going I to the Catskills. I grew up right next door. We're going to the Catskills. Yeah. No. People right. do get it confused a lot. But yes, Catskill is a town. I went. And it used to be not worth knowing, but suddenly it's. On the up and up, coming up. No, I felt like didn't people used to go there all the time for yeah. like uh, resort stuff? Yeah, because I went there. Skills, mm-hmm. The mountains, like the mountain the range. Regional. So Catskill isn't in the Catskills. It is, but Catskill itself was not particularly attractive to tourists. Right, right, right. As right, I say, right. they were mostly known for the Burger King. Okay, <laughs> the one Burger King. Bringing yes. it back to the Ninja Turtles. Remember when the Ninja Turtles did a Burger King tour? No. This was. Forever ago. Hmm. No, no? I, I thought it was Pizza Hut. Do they do a Burger King thing too? Yeah, because I remember having a. Um, remember when they used to do birthday parties at Burger King and yeah. stuff like that? Remember when they so, tried to serve dinners at Burger King? I mean, like, what do you mean, like, like serve they you? would serve you and it was like chicken parmesan? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Didn't they have like an original chicken sandwich, but that was like a chicken mm-hmm. parm one? But like they turned it into a dinner and like. Huh. It was, yeah, it was really weird. Mm. All the weed heads were in there like. I will take a large fry and 16 chicken parms. Please, yeah. dear God. Yeah. I tried the Impossible Burger at Is Burger it King. It's fine. I still felt terrible after I ate it. Oh, because it's Which Burger, Burger King. King. Yeah. And I mean, I all like, that fast food, it's like... Yikes. It's literally... It's not... It's not like, hey, I'm excited to go... Yeah, get fast food. Wait. It's like but people are. I'm hungry, yeah, and I have no time. Yeah, and like, I have those eight dollars. Sandwiches are selling out. Like all those. Oh right. Like, oh, at Popeyes. Yeah, 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 but that's like Popeyes chicken is mad good. It is. <laughs> it's got a, so too, but I don't. It's I got don't, a really no. good crunch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. And that's what I'm a fan of. That crunch, crunch. <laughs> yeah. But like. LOL at our society where they're losing their shit over chicken sandwiches. Yeah. It's you like know? when the Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce. Mm-hmm. At, oh my God. My friend. And people were literally like fighting that. each other to the death. Yeah. I'm like, are you insane? Yeah. He was like, and yeah, I went, already. I drove two hours to this place and like whatever to no. go get it. I was no. like, bro, use ketchup. Like who Garbage cares? Person. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't have time for that. It frustrates yeah. me like that. So many yeah. like bros just like kind of ruin that show. Because they just oh, like... Oh, Rick and Morty? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, this is me. Like, fucking... <laughs> like, I'm Rick. And it's bro? like, you're definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but like, go ahead. Keep trying. I think I've only seen one episode of that. I've never it's seen Rick so and Morty. It's so good. Really? It's so funny. I don't want to ruin it if I'm... I don't want to bro it up. Uh, oh, my God. Because yeah, you're, you're definitely a bro, a bro David. <laughs> I don't know. The goth journalist <laughs> is now the goth bro journalist. The goth bro journalist. <laughs> yo, it's not yo, entirely wait, on wait a second. Wait a second. Give it a month. We will have 18 other words <laughs> inside of that. It'll keep yeah. going forever. Yeah, I'm here for Minimal. that. Every day. It'll be like, remember that game Hodgepodge? 
where everybody would go around and you would add words to make a sentence. Oh, I think so. I made that's it. what yeah. it's gonna be. Okay. It's like um, I am a sure. goth king. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's how like. <laughs> I mean, I was was more a fan of Mad Libs, but yeah. Oh, Mad Libs. I have one Mad Libs, and it's a Buffy Mad Libs. (laughs) That's. I love that we keep coming back to vampires. (laughs) Oh, my God. I will talk about trash like that all I feel like you should go see Only Lovers Left Alive. It's so Is it in the theaters, or is it? It's an old movie? Older. Not like 2011. Yeah. I think. Will you text it to me? It's so I remember what it was. Yeah, it's, what's his name? Jim Jarmusch. Yeah, it's so good. I love it. He's uh, a director. He's, yeah. And he's, he's also, like, what, he also... What else did he do? He did, like, Ghost Dog and uh, that Bill Murray zombie movie that just came out that no one went to see. Um, <laughs> what else has he done that people know him for? Katie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's Googling it right now. Yeah. I mean, we just saw him at Basilica Soundscape playing in a band, but that's not what yeah. he's known for. Um, Squirrel. That's true. Uh, yeah, Squirrel like is the name of the band? Yeah. yeah. SQRL. And he did like the soundtrack for Only Lovers Left Alive as that band. That's good. It's a really yeah. good movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, Tilt Swinton and um, the guy from Loki. Oh my Loki? God. Tom Hiddleston. Oh, Tom Hiddleston. oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's on Amazon Prime. Oh, <laughs> oh perfect. It's on Amazon Prime. I have to Anybody have who wants so. to watch the movie, and you absolutely should, I love it. I think it's like. It's great. We'll link to it below it's in the bio. It's so goth. It's very goth. It's, is it? It's, oh my Should God. Should I wear all black while watching it? Yes. Mm-hmm. And they like, drive by Jack White's house. Yeah. They like, like actually Jack White's mm-hmm. house? Yeah. This is in Detroit. And like admire. Because it's like society in decline. Yeah. And they're like, oh, huh. so sad. The humans, they're fucking everything up. Yep. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best. Tom Hiddleston just like complains about society the entire movie, and it's so good. He's like, they're destroying everything with their well, technology and their cars. I mean, it's true. Oh, it's dead true. And it's Tilda Swinton just like reads books, and she's like, "Why are you so sad?" And like, <laughs> that's, it. that's the movie. And they like just patting his head. They like play chess and like eat blood popsicles and like hang out. Real blood. I mean, the yeah. Vampires. Oh shit! I forgot that they're vampires. Yeah, that's, that's like the whole thing. They're like it. so old. They've seen it all. Yeah, oh. their names are Adam and Eve. Isn't that fucking amazing? <laughs> but are they Adam and Eve? We don't know. You're right. We don't know. Now I do want to watch it. Mm-hmm. It's so My wife will not watch it. No, at all. Force her. No, she can't watch. She hates. That stuff, yeah. Like, and I'm always like, you should watch The Magicians. What you was should that watch this with me. God awful show we the watched Order? one episode. Of. I was like, I was like, Katie, I really want to do we like a Riff Tracks Mystery Science Theater 3000 with style like podcast trash TV. with Trash TV. And we oh, tried that's a good it. Idea. We could, we could, it, was, it was bad. It was God awful. I watched one episode on my own after that, and I was just like, fuck, this kid is trash. Yeah. And and I hate and I had seen one or two episodes beforehand. And I was like, you just, you just keep adding on that. Did you watch an entire season? And like, no, I didn't. You know what? No. I would like to retract. And it's very controversial. Mm-hmm. Breaking Bad. I think it's a fucking terrible show for most yeah. of it. Really? And I would love to riff tracks. It I've only seen the first season, so. Well, there you go. Why would you get past the first? It's fucking terrible. Huh. It gets better. Does it? But it never everybody, becomes a great show. Everybody's always like, you have to start at the third season. Yeah. I'm like, why would why you? Would you, yeah. you miss everything then. Right. Yeah, well, you, except you don't because nothing happens for three yeah. seasons. Well, except the first episode, they and like. Oh, yeah. They, they like melt, melt that a person. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, stuff lot. like that happens, but it's all like in circles and they panic and then they panic and then everything's fine and they panic and they fight they and then they panic meth. and they make more meth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's like a loving relationship. They love each other. It's really what it is. <laughs> yes, but they can't. Yeah. They don't know how to show it. Yeah, and That's the meth is, is their baby. Wow. Yeah, the meth is their baby. Wow, this is. They're some... just making babies, but it's meth. But it's meth. Mm-hmm. Romantic. Yeah, romantic and wholesome. And I'm sure yeah. that's what the. I Netflix... can't believe you don't like it. <laughs> you don't like a show about family and, and wholesome values. Some I mean, okay, so what's He's her name? teaching him a trade, David. Yeah, he's the, his apprentice. The, um, the, uh, what's her Doctors name? Doctors don't understand. 
<laughs> Not you would understand. <laughs> the, the, I mean, it got okay for a while while uh, Jessica Jones shows up. Like, she's in it for, like, a little bit. Oh, yeah, she's the neighbor. But then yeah. she overdoses. Spoiler alert. Bro, I haven't gone nice. that far. It's fine. It's been 10 years. <laughs> it's fine. Let it go. Yeah, and I'm like, there's a goth person at this show, and it's semi watchable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because of his? Because of him? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I thought so. Or maybe it's, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't well, know. it's because of both of them. Because not only does Jesse decide to get high with her when yeah. she's about to go to rehab, they're about to go to rehab and fix their lives. But then, but then Walter White that sneaks just in, pissed me off, sneaks in, and sees oh, that sees her, yeah, and doesn't, fucking save her. And doesn't That's save right. her. I forgot about yeah. that. Why? Because he was like, wasn't he's a, he like he, mad that he she was like distracting him? Yeah, because he wanted him back to doing yeah. meth. Yeah, that show, man. Damn, meth is a hell of a drug. Anyways. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Dark. She got dark. (laughs) So about Buffy. Yeah. Let's go go back to vampires. I didn't really watch Buffy. You're fine. I missed out on it. I feel like if you didn't watch it then, it's like, I don't know. Right. Yeah. You know, like a lot of shows, like if you didn't see it. Yeah, like I feel like that's because everything is kind of like that. Well, no. Well, mostly TV shows. Just yeah, TV, TV shows. shows for sure. Yeah. I mean, I would... Though, I've been watching Cheers, and it's so oh. good. <laughs> we, we talked about this. We, we did, did talk, talk about this last night. I love <laughs> Cheers. I'm so into it. Hmm. I love best. Kirstie Alley, so when she hops on it, well, that's nice. I'm not there yet. Oh, well. I'm, I'm very I like early. a little I'm feminine in, energy in, in there two. that's not what's-her-face. Oh. I tried for yeah, years yeah. to get my wife to go back to rewatch Deadwood. And she's seen some of it. Oh. And then when the movie came out, she's like, I really want to do it. Mm. But she didn't. And then the movie came out. And it was like, yeah. It, it the movie didn't, wasn't good? It was all right. But like. That's a bummer. What are you going to do? It wasn't like. Isn't that the worst when you get excited about something uh, and you sh- want to show it to someone and you start watching and you're like, oh, wait, this is terrible. Yeah. Honestly, and then it's you're like, like 80% just of turn my it life. <laughs> yep. I'm like, I really enjoy this trash TV. Watch it with me. Ooh, right. it's really bad. Yeah. I keep forgetting. I really, yeah. like, Narcos was a show that I did that with. But. Ooh, I like you Narcos. Like yeah, I keep wanting like to it. watch it, but I just I, haven't I, I recommend it. I just finished watching The Umbrella Academy. Oh, Have we didn't make that? it through I, that. I watched it. Right? I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I liked. Yeah. I, sh- I liked but struggled with The Boys. Oh, my God. I just finished The Boys, too. But like that shit annoyed me. It goes to some levels that like I can't yeah. take. Yeah, or it's like, come on. Like the, have you seen it at all? That one scene where, um, that fish dude, mm-hmm. where he yeah moves, he's yep. at that one place, and that mm-hmm. girl that was disgusting. And also like, how did they cl- like, how did they uh, clone Bradley Cooper and put him in a show? Who the Homelander? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That is not Bradley Cooper, but that is Bradley Cooper. I don't like Homelander, man. No, he's a bad dude. He's a D-bag, yeah. Yeah, they're all D-bags, honestly. Mm. That's the whole yeah. show. That's the, there's yeah. no, no one's redeemable Oh, God, but Elizabeth Shue, man. I don't want to say the ending, um, but she was like my cinema girlfriend for forever. Did you ever see she The Saint with Val Kilmer? Yes. Uh, that Made is like... Las yeah. Vegas? Oh, yeah. But I remember being young and being like, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I watching The Saint over and over? It's not like it's a particularly amazing movie. And I watched it over and over again because when we would travel and move around Mm -hmm. a lot when I was younger, Mm -hmm. we only had like three DVDs. And that was one of them. And it was like, oh my God. That's that's torture. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like nine. And I'm like, why am I watching The Saint? But you know what I quote all the time is that the, do you remember it? Like at all? I don't know. Probably. There's when Val Kilmer is like coming <laughs> off the plane and he's like, fish and chips. He's like, on the plane, I had the chicken. Like, I don't know. It's like, you know when you watch stuff when you're young yeah. and you Certain quote things. the weirdest yeah. shit and only like your siblings or like yeah. people that grew up with you understand like my siblings and I, we quote how high all the time. Have you ever seen that movie? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. It's with Method Man and Red Man. It's like, mm-hmm. a, it's like a, it's it's so good, but it's so bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's very quotable, too. We would quote Major Pain. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, my God. That was that another scene, one of the DVDs. That scene where he breaks his hand. <laughs> or he's just like, oh, fuck, what does he say? I don't remember. 
want me to help you take your mind off the pain <laughs> or something like that? Yeah. And he goes like, <laughs> and he's like, go and break the kid's finger. Speaking of the oh, Wayans, uh, the one movie that I was always quoting was that Bruce Willis flick that he was with Damon Wayans, and it's like this football flick, and I forget what it's called now. But Rudy? Like, no, no, no. I'm kidding, I'm it's, kidding. It's, it's like, not it's like, <laughs> it's, it's it's like yeah. this weird action movie, and they're like, the Shit. NFL is involved, and the one quote that Bruce Willis says is, he goes, assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. And that's like the, the quote I Honestly, remember. it's a that's a solid quote, yeah. though. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. solid. And then I think he shoots the guy, because that's what you do, right? Oh, yeah, obviously. My favorite thing, though, in movies is when the bad guy tells everything. Yes. <laughs> they're like, and I did this, and I did this, because he thinks he's going to actually kill the person. Right. Spoiler alert, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Or the longer you jail. take telling... Oh, like, yeah, just kill him. ...your monologue. They make fun of that in uh, The Incredibles. Oh, do they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm done with that. And no more Incredibles. The Incredibles? As a five-year-old. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that no movie. More. She was playing Classic. The Incredibles video game last night, where you have to relive every scene over and over oh, again. Really? Every line over and over again. Man. It's so good. The sequel was really good too that's, what, we're, we're that's what we've been reliving like oh. the sequel's the one with the baby yeah I like uh. what's his name speaking of Breaking Bad the, the what's his name uh, Aaron Bill Bob Odenkirk oh Saul like, yeah. Yeah, yeah but he's in he got his Incredibles 2 mm. oh, and be, all Better Call Saul's a good show mm. compared to I haven't watched it it's really good it's funny I felt like I couldn't watch it you know it's better it's like they found the good parts of Breaking Bad and oh, put it really? into a show this is, you want to know one of the reasons I really started watching Vampire Diaries? Yes. It's because I really wanted to watch the originals. <laughs> and I felt like I couldn't watch the originals without watching Vampire Diaries. That's fair, that's fair. So. The originals is a spinoff from um, Vampire yeah. Diaries. But also how <laughs> I. translate how, for David. But here's also, so, they also came out with a new one plot. called Lesions or something like no, that. No, they did not. Yeah, where it's like. I'm sorry, what channel is this on? The CW. CW, duh. <laughs> You want to watch if you yeah. you're gonna want to watch everything on that channel. If oh yeah, you really Arrow. Want some trash TV. What else do I like on the CW? I will, I, okay, so I've, I've heard of this. Oh, that's fair. 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 Oh, well, we've That's, just been hanging out, really. Yeah. Are we all my to talk murder about podcasts anything? have CW uh, recommendations. Or Nancy is, Drew. Is, oh my God, that started last night actually, mm-hmm. or Wednesday, after Riverdale, which Red-handed was the premiere podcast. Riverdale. That's a, oh, that's right. You do love Riverdale. Oh my I God, can't Cheryl do Blossom it. though. So my, I guess we should wrap up. Yeah. Oh yeah. But but yeah, like, I what should we take away from this? You take photos. Vampires take are pretty photos. cool. I like vampires. I started reading the um, new uh, Chromoscope fan fiction pieces that they're putting out. They do fan fiction? So, what? Yeah. With <laughs> I'm kidding you. I can't believe you're doing this right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But they are writing one. It's, it's, it's pretty a, great so far. It's, oh, uh, they are writing a film. Yes. Yeah, they are. They, are write, they wrote a film. Yeah. And actually, that's going to start. I'm pretty yeah. pumped about that. I'm going to mm-hmm. do some like behind the scenes for that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Shooting starts Sunday. Mm-hmm. Today is Friday, so in two days. Mm-hmm. I don't know when these are put out. But how are I'm you going to embarrass day. Katie? No, uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> no. necessarily. It's uh, from, it's a callback to the episode with the uh, uh, chromoscope. Uh, yeah, when yeah, they yeah. just like, did yeah. you watch that at all yet? Oh my god! Bit. It's it's solid. It's solid gold. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a, a lot of people have like referenced it in like in on social media that I've been noticing. Oh yeah, like, like the oh. Malta, the miners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. I was watching it and legit was like crying by the end of it. I oh, was like, I, I hate them so much. I couldn't much, get through. I, I was like so much, yeah. trying so hard to <laughs> keep myself together. So was Katie. And we were just Yo, like. Because they're just so serious. Oh and God. they've known each other for so long. So that they just they rip can, so hard yeah. off each other. Like it doesn't even, you know. But the funniest part is sometimes when Nick will say something and you can tell he's about to laugh. <laughs> he's going to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things. Like he um, knows how good it is. Okay. And he'll try to like. <laughs> His whole body so just. <laughs> yeah, it's oh great. Oh my God. Very um, entertaining. But the takeaway from this um... Kiki's a wonderful photographer. Thanks oh, for being thank you guys. A wonderful person so who supports the scene. Yeah, I and love everyone. this scene. Yeah. I mean, having uh, you and Richard are like two of the most generous and, I don't know, just generally positive and promotional, like not promotional, but. 
uh, enabling in the positive way. Right, right, yeah. right. People. Honestly, um, to be put in a category with Richard is like, <laughs> like an honor. He's like the best dude. I've learned so much from him, mm-hmm. especially when I first started working with you guys with the alt. He really like um, took the time to mm-hmm. like answer a lot of questions I had and just kind of like we met up a couple times and he just really like, because I had never really shot for like the paper before. Right. Like it's like a whole different, you know, you have to edit a little differently and kind of, you know, mm. there's like a legit um, deadline. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, and when you're like consistently just like doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff, sometimes you have to remember like, oh shit, this is, I got to like give this to them, you know? Yeah. Like, like it's solid sometimes when you guys are like, hey, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I never sent that. Mm. I'm like, it's done. It's in Dropbox. I just like never actually sent it to you guys. <laughs> um, but no, he really like, and I say this too, like working with you guys, you guys have had me shoot so many different things that I feel like it's really helped me grow like as a photographer. And I've met like so many people too. And just like, I remember this one day, I think I've said it to you before. Remember when we went to Nighthawks and we did that like food thing? Mm-hmm. I was like sitting there with my wife. We were like wrapping up dinner or whatever. And I turned her and I was like, man, I was like, I was like, when I was younger, I don't remember. There was somebody else I think we were talking about too. Maybe it was you or somebody else. I was like, man. When I was younger, I really wanted to be a food photographer. Like, blah, blah, and I'm talking about it, and I just stopped, and I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I took photos of food today. <laughs> I was like, I am a food photographer. I'm like, holy shit, yeah. you did it. You did um, it. It was a good, good photo. It was a good series, too. Yeah. Thank you so much. The food was delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge experimenter mm. when it comes to food, unless it's like, I don't know. I trust. 2 yeah. You have like 18 leftovers, and you're like a little. I trust wet. whatever Josh does in general. Like yeah. He's like there are some places where yeah, I wouldn't generally adventure, mm-hmm. but I generally everything. I got to uh, keep a pig tooth from that day. You know that like pig head he's got. That like he was taking a photo with it, and one of the teeth fell out. And he's like, "You want this?" I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I don't want to get so, it too, too much into this, but that gave me flashbacks because as a as a teenager, I did work in a in a slaughterhouse. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. A goth slaughter <laughs> I walked. Holy I walked home shit, covered, David. covered, it's like head, everything, covered head to toe in blood, and my long goth hair covered in blood. <laughs> I handled. Thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> God, where are the pics of that? You know, there's a Polaroid somewhere. Anyways, yeah, but. I guess, is this our time? Yeah. Yeah, I Thanks. think so. Before that I get, it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me. Just hang out with you guys and Thanks for coming. just talk about vampires. Thanks, Thanks and to Katie, that one, for putting up with yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for putting up answers. with us. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was solid. 